On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. No, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video. Share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, uh, in the morning here we are going to kick it off with some international news before we get on into our local uh, stories. Now the Daytona Beach Police in Florida is seeking a Jamaican national in relation to the knockings and clappings of a man at Daytona Beach, Florida apartment complex. On Friday, the Daytona Beach police stated on Monday that they are looking for a Jamaican national suspected in the knockings and clappings of a man at Carolina Club Apartments on Friday. An arrest warrant was issued for this Jamaican national present on your screen, identified as 24-year-old Odin Jack. The arrest warrant stated that 24-year-old Odin Jack is wanted for attempted first-degree murder, according to an email from the Daytona Beach Police. The victim believed to be in his 30s and who was not identified by the police was taken to the Halifax Health Medical Center with a can of wound to the chest. He was still in the hospital in critical condition on Monday. No motive was immediately given for his knockings and clappings. The victim reported that he was standing by his car in a parking lot of one of the apartment buildings on Carolina Lakes Drive shortly before 4 p.m. When the 24-year-old Odin Jack approached him and canned him up in the chest, the victim drove himself to the Halifax Medical Center, where hospital personnel called the police and reported the matter. Eyewitnesses told the police that they saw 24-year-old Odin Jack can up the victim and walked off to an apartment building where he lives. Now it's quite obvious that Odin did not leave the Kana boy lifestyle when he departed Jamaica. Odin is said to be from the Dunker community in the Eastern Kingston Police Division. And by the way, on the Spot News Media got credible information that the man that him can up is also a Jamaican national. Yeah man. So it's probably one of those ongoing gang wars from Jamaica that spilled over into the streets of Florida. Now anyway, back on local style. Yeah man. So watch this now my peeps. We're still on that knockings and clappings of that innocent little girl that lost her life on that brutal and horrific night. As I stated, the female on your screen has since been identified as 16-year-old Bianca Thompson, otherwise known as Abby. She lost her life on Saturday night due to the fact that criminal elements was in search of a family member of hers. The criminal elements name was revealed in yesterday morning's vlog as Manafati. Now this morning, this is the picture of the criminal element that the other criminals went in search for. His correct name is Deron Reed, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Manafati. He's also wanted by the Denhamtown police for knockings and clappings with intent 
to take some people's life. Now, anyone knowing the whereabouts of this criminal element here, Deron Reed, a.k.a. Manafati, please alert the Denham Town Police with immediate effect. And as always, if you're not just the police, them, link on the Spot News Media or any like-minded vlogger, we will most definitely pass on the information to the authorities who can make effective change. Yeah, man. Now, before we get into any more news, I'm going to talk briefly about a comment that I saw on the yesterday morning's vlog when I spoke about the criminal element from out of Flanka, identified as Jolo, that security forces took him out whilst he challenged them on the local government election day over there in Flanka's St. James. Now the comment is coming from Chef992 and it states, Hello on the Spot News Media, this message is due to you only. I genuinely enjoy your channel's informative content and I value the fact that you and Serpy take the initiative to raise awareness of the crimes occurring in our surrounding communities across the country. I do not support criminal activity nor do I believe that those who engage in it are to escape the consequences. But I find that you two only talk about these things and you do so in a harsh and insensitive manner. Regardless of who or what they have done, everyone has a family. I hardly hear you talk to our people about all the other issues in and around the country. You do not discuss the government and the, what I would say, probably them are trying to say the lack of resources in the communities that forces these young people to choose a certain career paths at a young age. The jobs that pays 13000 a week and don't allow you to put food on your table or the politicians who supply weapons to these young people and then turn their backs considering how profitable these channels are for you and Sir P. Have you tried to alter anything in your community? Alternatively, do you guys just wait for another young man to pass away before attacking the deceased? Now, for those who wish to read the rest of the comment, can go over on my channel and do so. It's under yesterday morning's video. And it is really sad when I see comments like this. But let me address the few points that I think I need to address with you. First and foremost, on the Spot News Media channel and like-minded channels, we speak about the ills of our country, the criminal elements that are relentless in their efforts to wreak havoc right across the length and breadth of Jamaica and to destroy the very fabric of our dearly beloved island home, Jamaica. So if you're looking for a channel where we speak about certain things, these channels are most definitely not that. We concentrate on criminals, what they have done, what they are doing, what they are planning to do. And we also seek to assist the authorities in their relentless efforts to rid our country, our communities of these criminal elements. We also seek to make you, the regular members of Chan Public, aware of what's happening in your surroundings. Because trust and believe, you do have some people living in these communities and have literally no idea of what is taking place because they try to keep themselves away from the toxic behaviors. So our channels is based on criminals and their criminal activities. So if you seek otherwise, these channels are not for you. But let me address this real quick. You stated that we too, both of us, Serpy and I, use harsh and insensitive words. And you stated that regardless of who or what they have done, everyone has a family. 
And you know the sad thing about your comment, you never once mentioned the family members of the persons who are left lifeless on a block of ice because of these criminal elements that you have so much sympathy for. Well, on the spot news media will most definitely never have any form of sympathy for these criminal elements who continues to take the lives of our Jamaican nationals. I will always have sympathy for the innocent and for the family members that are left behind to mourn the loss of their family members because of these criminal elements who are continuously raking havoc in our dearly beloved island home, Jamaica. You are more concerned about the family members of these hoodlums, these corner boys, these 87s, the Krasmites, the Kerosenes, the family members of those persons who continue to prey on the innocent. Those are the family members that you are worried about. The same family members that come out to speak against our country's security forces, to speak against them when their criminal element, friends and families are taken out. But no one seemed to come and protest for the loss of life of the innocent. Like that little 16 year old girl that lost her life Saturday night in Albion Lane in Kingston Western Police Division. She got over 20 gunshots simply because she's related to a criminal element. We did not see any protest for that, but you are here concerned about the family members of criminals. Really sad. You also stated that the country's lack of resources in the communities forces these young people to choose certain career paths at a young age. Well, I'm here to rubbish that argument. Gone are the days when criminal elements go out there Go do what them do, just for basically put food on them table. Gone are those days. Most of these criminal elements who are engaged in gun battles every day, fighting over turf and all these things. These criminal elements are wealthy. They have a lot of resources, but they are using the resources to wreak havoc in the communities instead of building the very communities that they're from. I've said this in a previous vlog, you know. The Almighty Creator understands why he made rich and poor people. And this is not me, what them would have said, bad minding the youths, or envious that the youths them bust out and have a piece of money. A lot of persons, when they gain wealth, they don't know what to do with it. And what's happening especially across Montego Bay, St. James, right across the length and breadth of St. James and Western Jamaica, basically, is simple because of that. The criminal elements, when they were poor, we did not have no violence. But as soon as them start make money, guns start buy, man start bad mind man, this, that and the fourth, and all hell broke loose. So it better them never have no money because many of them would have still been alive today. And most of these communities that they're from would not have been in violent flare-ups on a day-to-day, month-to-month, year-to-year, back-to-back, side-to-side basis. So my peeps, yes, when time, when I go write comments, please make sure it makes sense. Read it before you post it. Because sometimes it just make Uno look dumb and have no sense. I can clearly see, even though you say that you are not a murderer, you are most definitely a criminal sympathizer. Forgive me if I'm wrong. And forgive me if I misread what you wrote. But anyway, make we continue. 
And still in the volatile, war-torn, crime-riddled St. James Police Division. I definitely believe that the St. James Police Division has the most gangs and the most gang members right across all police divisions in Jamaica. It would seem as if 7 out of every 10 young men you see on the street is either a wannabe criminal, a criminal, a little fallabaka, something. Everyone just want to be that man. I don't know why. Now on your screen is another one of St. James criminal elements who has continuously wreaked havoc in the general flankers, Narwood communities. He has since been identified as Aquino. As you can see on your screen, Aquino is in possession of two fake guns. I'm pretty sure they're going to come and say on the spot news media, they strap them fake. They did not use them in a music video because that seems to be the order of the day. And as a matter of fact, Aquino called himself a music producer too. As always, the Antigonian criminals seem to hide under the facade of being either a DJ, an artist, or being a music producer. But Akin is a known criminal element, old dirty kind of boy that has been raking havoc in the Flankers community for years. In fact, on the day of the local government elections, when Jolo gets slapped away by the security forces. He was also in close proximity, heavily armed and masked. So of course the security forces indeed saw heavily armed masked men who took them on. Hence the reason why they returned the fire and the criminal element identified as Jolo get caught. Yeah man. And indeed a firearm was recovered. So when you see these persons out there parading and speaking about the injustice that they undergo on a day-to-day -day basis for more security forces, I oftentimes rubbish that type of behavior because 99.9% .9 of the times when you see them come out and behave in such a manner, it's because they're coming out in defense of a noted criminal element. I say this again, so many innocent have lost their lives, like the most recent, the 16 year old Abby. I've yet to see one placard bearer out there protesting her fatal and untimely passing. But these people find all the time in the world to congregate and come out against our security forces when a noted and known criminal element, life is taken. Really, really sad. This just goes to show that our Jamaican people have lost all moral compass and now he's more gravitated towards a more toxic environment. So when I hear sometimes some people are cry out, you know, Sometimes you have to leave them and make them bear the blunt of what they themselves have encouraged over the years. So anyway, Aquino, you are now under the radar of on the spot news media. And just note that Officer Yeman Pican team has been deployed for you. So if you so wish to try to run back to Costa Rica, no worry yourself. We we'll have that luck after. You will not escape the clutches of the long arms of the law. You too will be caught and either walk out or chalk out will be the odd of the day. Now, how all of that work out depends totally on you. So that again in itself is a word to the wise. So I would advise you upon seeing or listening to this video, just do the right thing. Go turn yourself over to the Freeport Police.
and allow them to do the rest. Yeah, man. Say so anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.